Good morning, Emmy. I just wanted to send you a quick screencast of the um, inside of Blackboard Collaborate and what it looks like for a moderator since I could not meet with you this morning. Um, I'm just launching the Blackboard Collaborate space so you'll see what it looks like from the launch. Okay, so notice this pops up. It's going to ask you if you want to start recording, which we don't want to do, but notice um, there is a record button in the top right hand corner. So whenever we are ready to record, all you have to do is hit record. It's going to ask you if you're sure. Recording started. It's going to say that it's recording, then to click and pause. You stop recording it and just click stopped. it again. And this is going to be saved in the Blackboard Collaborate space, and I can show you where to find it once we get back to, um, or once I get back in the office. So notice the button right next to it says load content to um, load your PowerPoint into the space. This is what we do. We hit load content. And we find the, oh uh, goodness, sorry, this is on my desktop, I've been having issues with my microphone on my Mac. Come on. I just want to cooperate this morning. Okay. So I'm just going to find an old PowerPoint from the Lunch and Learns. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now notice my, your computer is going to do something kind of funky. It's doing this by itself. What it's doing is it's taking the PowerPoint and converting them into images to be read by the Blackboard Collaborate space. So if your computer starts doing some funky things and opening the PowerPoint by itself, that's what it's doing. <laughs> kind of freaks me out the first time it happened. I was like, what? Okay, once it's loaded in, you're going to have something um, called a Page Explorer pop up at the front. And you can navigate the different slides by double clicking, make sure everything looks okay. You can also jump to different slides by clicking on this bar or move things back and forward. And when you're presenting, these are the buttons that you're going to be using to move back and forward. And make sure that the follow button is clicked because otherwise they're going to get to navigate wherever they want. So we want to make sure that they follow us. Notice when you click out of this, that same bar is put at the top. So during the presentation, I have to do is click these arrows, make sure you're right where they need to be. Um, so how do you turn someone into a moderator? Once you highlight someone's name, you go up to Tools, Moderator, Give Moderator Privileges. So that will actually make anyone that you want in the session a moderator. And if you drop out or something happens and you have to leave the session, the other moderator will keep the session open. So if you don't have another moderator, the possibility is to close the entire session by accident if you get dropped out by internet or, or whatever. So notice right below the moderator is a button called polling. And this is actually going to set up our polling. So we want A through D multiple choices. And notice this little icon will change from a check to an A. And um, participants respond by just clicking on one of the buttons and it pops up right next to their name. So that's pretty much the polling and everything that I think you need to know. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to you know reach out to me. I just wanted you um, just to give out some, I guess, assistance since I couldn't meet there this morning, and I wanted you to, to be able to see what it looks like before Monday morning. So um, again, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you have a great day.